Hey everyone, it's Nathan here. So Anthropic just released Opus 4.5 along with a few cool updates. And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the model, compare it to Gemini 3, and share my thoughts on it. So Anthropic has finally dropped Claude Opus 4.5, their latest flagship model that's great for coding, agents, and using computer. The model is Anthropic's answer to the Gemini 3 Pro model, which was released just a few days ago. What's interesting about this model is that it's actually cheaper than the previous version. Opus 4.5 costs $5 for input and $25 for output per million tokens. This is three times cheaper than the Opus 4.1 model that was priced at $15 for input and $75 for output respectively. It's still more expensive when compared to Gemini 3 Pro, but with this new pricing, Opus finally feels like something you can use for everyday tasks and not just the big important stuff. Next, of course the mandatory benchmarks. Here on SUI Bench Verified, Opus leads the score at 80.9%, while Sonnet 4.5 is at 77% and Gemini 3 Pro at 76%. And then in SUI Multilingual Coding Benchmarks, Opus 4.5 leads in 7 out of 8 programming languages, only losing to Opus 4.1 in C++ by a very small margin. Next, here's the rest of the benchmarks. The model lost some points to Gemini 3 Pro and GPT 5.1 at the bottom here, but basically Opus 4.5 are better in most tests. Alongside Opus, they also release updates to the cloud developer platform, cloud code, and the desktop app. There are new tools for longer running agents and new ways to use cloud in Excel, Chrome, and on desktop. In the cloud desktop app, for example, you can now also run cloud code sessions both locally and remotely. And then on the cloud API, there is something new called f -word parameter. Basically, this f -word parameter controls how many tokens cloud uses when responding. The parameter has three values, low, medium, and high. When set to high, cloud uses as many tokens as needed for the best possible outcome. It's equal to not setting the parameter at all. Medium will balance token savings and performance, while low aggressively save tokens and reduce Opus capabilities. Combined with its context compression and improved tool use, Opus 4.5 can run longer, get more done, and need far less guidance along the way. Honestly, Opus 4.5 sounds cool, so let's try it out and compare it with Gemini 3 next. Alright, so Opus 4.5 is now available everywhere you can access cloud models. You can use it from Anthropic API Server, Open Router, Cursor, and many more. But here, I'm going to try it out in VS Code using the Kilo Code extension. Here, I already have two empty folders, one for Opus 4.5 and one for Gemini 3. For the first test, I'm going to ask the models to build a website for a premium minimalist water bottle. Make it like Apple's website, highlight like the bottle's design, materials, color choices, insulation performance, and everyday usability. Use vanilla HTML, CSS, and JS. Press enter and let Gemini 3 work on the request, and then I will go over to Opus workspace and send the same prompt. In just a moment, Opus starts by creating the to-do list and then write the code. Let's look at Gemini 3. Um, it seems there is a connection issue here. The AI is stuck at to-do list. Let's just terminate this session and start a new one. Alright, this will take a while to complete, so I will skip ahead to when both agents are finished. Okay, so both models have completed the tasks. First, Gemini 3 completed the request in about 3 minutes, and we can see that the model costs about 31 cents to create the website. It also used 150,000 input tokens and 8,000 output tokens. Meanwhile, the Opus 4.5 model took about 6 minutes, it costs $1.35, using 1 million input tokens and 20,000 output tokens. If you're using the previous Opus version, then it might cost about $4 for the same output. The Opus model is actually more complete as well, as it breaks down the request into 10 tasks. From creating the project structure in HTML, adding CSS and JavaScript, and then hero section, feature section, color choices, all parts of the website are done one step at a time before testing the result in the browser. On the other hand, Gemini 3 is much more simpler. It adds the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, test the result, and then call it a day. Next, let's see the result. So here's the result from Gemini 3. I think the header here is a bit off, as the headline is too close to the menu, and then there are two links or buttons over here, uh, kinda odd really. 
And then below that, there's the features. Um, design had to disappear. Uh, I don't really think that's... Well, anyway, there are taxes here and then the materials. The insulation performance, it stays hot for 12 hours. And then there is the colors. Uh, can we select the colors here? Okay, we can. That's nice. And then some more details and then the footer. So I think Gemini 3 output isn't really that good here. Maybe telling it to make a website similar to Apple is a bad idea. But anyway, let's take a look at the website generated by Opus. So here's the website, and at a quick glance, it does seem better than the Gemini 3 model already. The sample product here looks better, it's floating and there is a dimension to it. And then below that we have the design feature. And yeah, I really think this one's much better than what Gemini 3 gave us. And then premium materials, again, this looks much better. It really shows the parts of the product that can be the selling point. So I think Opus did understand what information we want to pass on here. And then there is the colors option. And uh, this part also looks much better than Gemini 3. Below that we have this temperature retention, the insulation performance and graphics, and some colors. So it looks really nice. And then more details here for everyday use, perfect companion everywhere you go. And below that we have a call to action with the product price, which I don't see in Gemini 3 as well. There's free shipping, free returns, 2 year warranty, so all of that is nice detail. So yeah, I think Opus 4.5 does a much better job compared to Gemini 3 Pro as you can see in the results here. I do expect more from both models as they are the best models to date, but I think they still need more details in the prom to generate better results. Okay, so let's do another test and this time we're going to build a terminal application. Build a snake game using Go and Bubble T T U I framework. Let user choose name and keep hike scores in JSON file. Press enter and let the model work on the request. I'm going to do the same with the Gemini 3 model here. And then I will skip ahead to when they are finished. Okay, once again, both models have completed the request, and this time, the Opus model actually finished faster, probably about 2 minutes, and it costs us 23 cents. Meanwhile, the Gemini 3 took 4 minutes, and it costs us 53 cents, more than double the cost of Sonnet. Gemini 3 is actually more complete, as it generates this readme file, and separate the code into several files, or modules, as we can see on the left side. But let's go ahead and test the results. So I'm going to open the terminal and run the game. Alright, here we have the main screen. Uh, let's expand this first. K, okay, press enter. And we can enter the player name. And then the game starts. So we can collect the food here with the snake. And then if we crash into the wall, it's game over. I actually want the snake to appear on the other side. But that's fine for now. We can go back to main menu and play another round. Okay, let's try out the Opus game next. So here it is, expand the view, and then enter player name, and the game starts. Mm, I can't seem to see the foot here, uh, maybe it's on the right side here. So let me close the chat panel first, and then try again. Okay, we can see the foot now. The arena is wider than the Gemini tree result. Eat the fruit here, and then grow in size. And if you hit the wall, it's game over. Okay, I think that's enough. This time, I think both models did well. There's really not much difference here except the arena size. But since Opus costs less, about half of Gemini, I think it's a win for Opus here. Still, I don't think both models are anywhere near AGI, so if you're hoping for some kind of mind-blowing, world-changing leap, I just don't think this is it. The models are getting better, sure, but AI models are really just smart pattern machines. So for now, have fun with the improvements, enjoy the lower pricing, and take the AGI is here hype with a grain of salt. And that brings us to the end of this video. So, what do you think about Opus 4.5? Which one do you prefer, Gemini 3 or Opus? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. Also, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I hope you'll learn how to code and use AI tools. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!